this is the most important story that there's ever been. And so understanding what's actually going on is, to me, step one. In general, as a culture, it's harder for us than for, say, people in Tibet to see what's going on because their view isn't as clouded by self-interest. We're benefiting from all those factories, airplanes, whatever. That's what our economy is all about. So it's a little easier for us to go into denial. If it was just the planet was just heating up because the sun was getting hotter or something, then there'd be nothing to do about it and we'd be in even worse trouble. The fact that it comes precisely from the human habit of burning black rocks and, you know, oil that we find in reservoirs underground. And we could break those habits, at which point the weather would break. People always say, oh, well, we should do something about global warming so that our grandchildren aren't damaged. Well, that's true. You should certainly think about your grandchildren. But in fact, you should think about yourself. This is not some future problem. It's breaking over our heads. If we don't make change happen globally, then all your efforts will be for naught close to home. Change will be so massive and so sweeping that nothing you do will stand up in its face. The only way is to work in your community to make things good happen there and then to build a global political movement that finally puts a serious price on carbon and gets us out of the fossil fuel business. Local, global, very distinct tasks but united in certain ways.